people, if it was not already clear, I am one of those thousands, millions of people who was waiting for this Morphe Jaclyn Hill vault palette combination to come out. I'm a big, big fan of hers. I really liked her last Jaclyn Hill palette. So I was very excited and I bought this as soon as I could the first day that it was released. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial with every single one of these palettes. Not today. I'm going to start with the Ring the Alarm palettes. This has been screaming my name for weeks now. So I already primed and set my eyelids. I used the eyeshadow primer from Hard Candy and then I set it with a neutral shadow. The first shadow I'm going to be going in with is this color called Rush and I'm going in with the Morphe M441 fluffy brush to get this in the crease. So this is a very light orangey shade and just putting that in the crease as my first transition color from inner corner to outer corner. The next shade we're going in with is this shade right here called Alert. Um, I am putting that in my crease using the Morphe M433 brush which is more compact because now we're keeping things um, lower in the crease and just going from outer corner to inner corner. And as always, in between each shade, I'm going to go in, back in with that Morphe M441 fluffy brush and blend all of these colors together and make sure that we have no harsh lines. Next, I'm going to go in with this color called Frame. So I'm going to keep this to the outer corner and the outer crease and I'm going to stop like right there. I'm not going to take it all the way from inner corner to outer corner. Next I'm going to go in with this color called Secret which is a dark brown and I'm going to put that on the outer corners with that Morphe M433 brush. And then we blend. Just going to pack on that secret color one more time to darken it up a little bit more. Alright, so now I'm going to go back in with that color called Alerts and I'm going to put that on the fluffy M441 brush and I'm just going to put that like over, I, I don't want to lose some of the oranginess and I don't think I have. But I just want to put a little bit more of that warm, orangey, spicy goodness. I'm getting a pumpkin spice feel to it, which is the closest you're going to see me to pumpkin spice anything. I don't like the flavor of pumpkin spice. I don't like the smell of pumpkin spice. I think I'm like the only one on the planet who doesn't. I'm not part of the cool kids. Now we're going to go in with the lid color and we're using this one here called Lolly and it's a shimmery type of shade. It's a very interesting shade. It looks pretty cool. And I'm going to dampen my MAC 239 flat shader brush to apply this to my lid. So you can totally stop here. This is perfectly fine. Everything is blended just fine. I think the colors look great, but I'm going to be, you know, a little extra. And I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M433 brush and that secret color and just pack on one more layer on that outer corner. I'm going to go in with that Maybelline uh, New York Eye Studio Black Eyeliner Gel. So taking this Sigma Small Angled E65 Eyeliner Brush, um, I'm not making a wing today. I'm just going to dampen that with water and I'm going to line my upper lash line with the eyeliner just to define it and make it a little more black. Now I'm going to buff that eyeliner out and just soften it up a little bit with this black Makeup Geek eyeshadow called Corrupt. 
And I'm going to be using the Morphe M213 brush, this little dude right here, to um, buff those lines out. Now taking a makeup wipe, we're going to clean these eyes up. I am now going to put a coat of mascara on my top lashes and I'm using the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara in their black color that I typically use. Yeah, I'm not putting false lashes on today. I don't feel like it. <laughs> so we have finished the top portion of the eyes for the most part, and we are going to start on the face. The first product that I am going in with is from Benefit, and it is the Professional Matte Rescue Gel that I put all over my forehead and my nose, chin, uh, oily T-zone. Next, we're going in with a uh, makeup primer, and this is from Hourglass. It's called The Veil. I'm almost out, so um, I'm having to resort to, it won't come out of the bump anymore. So I gotta put it on by any means necessary until I can buy some more. And really, there's a whole lot left in there. Like, if you were to just throw it away once it starts, stops pumping stuff out like we're gonna throw away a lot of product and i'm gonna go in with the tarte amazonian clay full coverage foundation in fair light honey and i'm going to be applying that with my um, damp real techniques beauty sponge okay so since i am being extra special today completely forgot the uh, step with my Tarte CC under eye corrector that I always do and as you can see really need and I put this under my uh, dark circles and the brown spots on my forehead so we're just gonna do that now but if you like me and forget this step if you do this step it's not a huge deal And now we're going to continue and finish with the foundation. Next going in with concealer and I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer. And it's in the color R30. And just going to put this under my eyes and I am going to pay special attention to any breakouts that I have. I am now taking this e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm going to use this to pay attention to all of my breakout areas. Now we're gonna go in with the RCMA Translucent Setting Powder and I'm gonna put that on my Real Damp Techniques Beauty Sponge and put that all over the perimeter of my face, my forehead, and my nose. Going in with the e.l.f. Under Eye Brightening Powder and I'm going to be putting that on using a Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. The number is F35. Now we're going to let this set on our face for a minute and do our eyebrows. I'm using the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal and I'm going in with Light Brunette.
All right, so I've zoomed you back in because we are going to finish up the eye. So I'm gonna go in with this color here called Mugshot, and I'm going to put this on my bottom water lines, uh, I'm sorry, my bottom lash lines with the Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush. We didn't use this up above, but um, it's something that I think goes really well with the rest of the colors. So I'm gonna try a little out of the norm, I guess you could say for the lower lash lines for me. So just putting that on and hugging the lash line from outer corner to inner corner. Now I'm gonna go in with this color here called Secret and I'm going to keep this on the outer corners of my eye here. I'm not gonna go all the way from the outer to inner corner. I don't think. All right, so I'm gonna smoke this out a little differently than I normally do. I'm gonna take the Morphe M506 brush right here, which is um, a little longer, a lot longer than the Morphe M, bleh, bleh, the Morphe E18 brush that I always used to smudge out my bottom water lines. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the colors uh, rush and alert that we used earlier and we're gonna put that on this and I'm gonna smoke out my bottom waterline using these two colors and see how it turns out so I'm about to put a second coat of this Stila mascara mascara on my upper lash line I just want to make it a little more thick uh, since we are not doing the false lashes today. We are now going in with this eyeliner from Marc Jacobs. God damn it. The Marc Jacobs eyeliner. We're going to put this on our water, bottom water lines and we're going to tight line with it. And I'm also going to kind of bring it down a little further uh, on the bottom. I think I want to smoke out some black with this as well. So when you put this in your bottom waterline, you are going to put it in your waterline like normal, but you're also going to bring it down slightly into your lash line as well so that it's also sort of on your skin there, like not just on your waterline, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this flat definer brush right here, and it's from Luxie, and it's a Luxie 221 flat definer. It is a lot more thin of an edge here than the Sigma flat edge that I normally use. I don't, I don't know that you can actually see that difference there. So I'm gonna go in with that corrupt color, and I am going to dab this in that black color, and I am going to ever so slightly Hug that waterline, and you're sort of going to be tapping this onto the waterline essentially, and the closest you possibly can on top of that black eyeliner that you sort of made bleed onto your skin. And I'm going to put that alert and rush right here. Uh, just tiny dabs and we're going to smoke out the bottom again and we're kind of focusing on that black. We are now going to put a coat of this on our bottom lashes. All right, so now we're going to highlight our inner corners and our brow bone. I'm actually gonna jump into the Armed and Gorgeous palette, which is also part of the vault. And there is this gorgeous um, highlighting shade right here called VIP. And I'm going to try that on my brow bone and inner corner, but I think I'm gonna layer it with something else as well. This is very pigmented, like this is the highlight shade. So I would probably put on lightly and build as needed. I'm now using the Morphe E36 little pencil brush to dab this VIP corner in the this VIP color in my inner corners. All 
I'm also going to take this gold color right here called In Camera, and I'm gonna dab that on top of the VIP. And you know what? I'm gonna put it on the brow bone as well. Let's just see what happens. I'm not sure if you can really tell, but I'm really happy with this inner corner. The eyes are done. I'm going to bronze my face using this Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. And this is the matte version. I will be applying that with the Morphe E53 brush and just going to bronze just the outer perimeters of my cheeks, if you will. So now I'm gonna go in with blush, Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. And this is in the shade called Sensual. So for highlight, I guess I'm gonna keep up with the Jaclyn Hill themed type of makeup session we have going on. And I'm gonna go in with the Becca Champagne Pop. Mine is shattered, so I can't like hold this up for you nicely and say, ooh, ah, because I can't. I'm going to be applying this highlight using the Morphe M501 brush. I'm applying this to my cheekbones, temple, and the center of my nose. And my Cupid's bow. For lipstick, I'm going to be going in with this lip crayon by Bite Beauty, and I'm going in with the color Amaretto. On top of that, I'm now going to be going on with the Becca Liquid Crystal Lip Topper Glow Gloss. This is called Champagne Dreamed times Bellini, I think. <laughs> I don't know if this is still available. This was on sale at Sephora. But um, again, this has like these pinky with gold glittery flecks and I think it will look good with this whole look. Now we're going to set all of this using the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray and just spray that. Now drying this all in place using my handy dandy fan. All right, people, so this is the finished look. I had a lot of fun playing with the Jaclyn Hill Vault palette collection. Um, there's just so many different options that you can do for your eyes, so many different looks that you can do using this. And especially for the prices that you pay, I think that the quality is awesome. That's just my opinion nothing deep. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today and if you did please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell icon that's down there somewhere and it will notify you the next time I upload a video. I will see you guys in my next video.